I just installed the new Exocad version 3.2 LFCNA and I'm going to show you the fastest Copydential workflow you have ever seen. Let's get into the video. In the order form, we're going to select one tooth and then click on full denture. If you don't have the full denture module, get it. It's really important for this workflow. We can decide if we want to mill the base or print it. In this case, I'm going to print it. I don't have a byte rim, but click on yes for copy denture and the 360 denture module will come up. In this case, I'm going to have an upper and a lower arch. I'm going to do a copy denture, select the shade. It's A1 for the teeth. Then I'm going to save the project and I'm going to go into design and 3.2 is going to load. In one of my previous videos, I showed you a manual workflow how to do this if you don't have 3.2. But 3.2 does a very good job of outlining the outer line of the margins. You can correct it if you want to, especially in the palette area where it goes from the soft to the hard palette. I'm, gonna, I'm usually going to do some corrections in the lower where the frenums are. Usually you have to do some corrections, but this is really exciting. Very, very fast. Just click on the tools and every tools is getting selected automatically. Click next. I'm going to do the same thing for the lower. Just click on one tools and then one tooth each. And I like the color map actually what ExoCAD did here. That looks really, really good. You can modify the teeth, you can modify the occlusion. If you want to go to free and adapt, you can adapt the occlusion. If you have some high occlusion, you can move teeth around. You can smooth everything out like you can do in the regular denture module. Then we're going to create the bottom for the upper and lower arch. I usually make the connector height three millimeter width and three millimeter height apply to everything and then Usually the connectors are a little bit too low, so I'm going to move them up on the upper and lower arch, and that really, really doesn't take long. Just a quick look. If everything looks good, click Next. And here we're already in the tissue design. We can smooth it out or add a little bit of material. That comes usually if you finish a denture, you thin it out usually. but it copies the existing tissue exactly. If you want to add some more characteristics, you can do this here. Like I showed in my previous videos, you can enhance the root structure here. Then I go next. And then Exocad is separating the teeth from the base. I usually don't change anything in the parameters unless I'm going to mill the base then I'm going to click one bottom here and um, include milling going to do this for the upper and lower goes really fast and ExoCAD separated the base and the T's which I can mill or print I can mill the T's I can print the T's usually I'm milling the T's and printing the base looks very very nice with an Isiga printer or with a Hagas printer, it doesn't really matter. Then you go into design the model. If you want to have a model, go to a preset, like a plateless model design. You can auto align the arches. This is a new feature in 3.2 that ExoCAD allows us to auto align the arches. You can select um, a printer option. In this case, I'm going to use a Sega. Most of the labs have a Sega printers. I'm going to create the model for the upper and the lower arch. And that doesn't take long. It depends to your computer software and how fast your computer is. This is a new feature, which I really, really like. You can have a preview of how the attachments are going to look like. In this case, I don't do an attachment. I'm just adding the name. I'm going to put copy denture in there. I can choose from emboss or from deboss. Put the copy denture text on there, on the upper and lower. Click next, and then the denture is finished. And the model is finished too. I can print everything. Very exciting workflow, very fast. I've never seen such a fast copy.